Hey guys, still here. Welcome back to Sprocket. Time for another scenario. Let's see what I can dig up today in the dunes. The mission, win the battle. Pretty straightforward. There is almost no cover. Sure, we have some dunes, and we might be able to exploit that in the form of using turret depression or gun depression. So in this case, um, we are interwar, and I think I would be benefited with having a vehicle that's not too big, but with a fairly sizable turret on top that I can then have a lot of gun depression on. So, um, when it comes to the hull, I don't want it to be too big. Let's make it a bit less wide. And uh, let's get the upper glazes. Well, actually, no, I don't want it to be that tall. I do want the turret to be a little taller. This is going to be something that is not terribly pretty. Uh, the height, especially on the midsection, needs to be a bit more. And then the height here needs to be a bit more. And then I want my firepower as high as I can. There. That looks a little weird. Let's see if I can adjust the turret a bit. The turret height on the front. There we go. That's a little better. What sort of gun depression can I get? 5.59 degrees. No, that's not terrible. If I move this thing higher, it's 5.16. Oh, sorry. Uh, depression 19 degrees. 2 degrees. I need to be lower. Here we go. Minus 21 degrees. By doing that, I'll be able to bring this gun very, very, very low. And hopefully... <laughs> right. Um... Let's make it big bigger first, so I can see how it's going to look. Yeah, it's going to clip right through the lower chassis. Or through the, the track. Sorry, the hull of the tank. This way, I can use quite a bit of peeking over the dunes, I hope. I'm not aiming for a terribly quick vehicle, just something that's going to be more difficult to hit. And I'll also need to get more ground clearance, because the way that the tank is right now... Well, good luck navigating those dunes. So first, the front lower glacy. Front... Uh, oh, sorry, that's turret. Sometimes the camera's a bit wonky here. Front strip, bottom. This thing should be fairly slanted, because this might stick out. This front strip is going to be pretty fragile. That's the slants over there. Uh, lower frontal hull. That's more like it. It's going to cost me quite a bit of room in the chassis. So I might need to move some more crew members over to the turret. But then again, I also want to make the turret smaller, so it's going to take up less space inside the hull, like that. Having a pretty small turret ring. I want to have the turret be a little bit less wide. Um, I also want it to be not as tall, so long as it doesn't impact my ability to depress the gun too much. And let's see, we still need a bit more room when it comes to the, re the, the rest of the chassis. What sort of engine do we have? Because that's going to impact this quite a bit. Uh, six kilowatt per ton. It's not great. Unfortunately, there's not that much that I can do. <clears throat> well, I can push up to 15. But the issue is, I have most of my crew already in the turret. Oh, hold on. What I could do here is raise the turret. That way I sort of pull it out of the chassis. <clears throat> Potentially allowing for more gun depression as well. Maximum depression, 14 degrees. I'll take that. Like that. Oh no, it's a sad little tank. <laughs> oh well. Um, don't be sad. You'll get camo soon. When this thing peaks over the dunes, it's going to be great. If it does not peak over the dunes, it's going to have a massive weak spot in that turret ring. So while this might work... I think I need to be a bit more conservative with that. Let's see. 
Um, I also need to adjust the gun, of course. Where can I get some more room in this hole? I suppose I could push out the sides a little more. I don't want to make it too much more... See, this is just going to be a big, big, big target. This is going to make it a small target. I guess we're going to have to go bigger. You're a big chonker of a tank now. That's not quite what I wanted. Let's pull the rear out a bit more. Twenty-five ton tank. Twenty-six. Let's see. I might be able to make this thing work, but I'll have to upgrade the turret again. Mobility, twelve tons per oh it's not too bad. Twelve kilowatts per ton. Alright, time to work on the firepower. I am interwar, so I think something along the lines of a 76mm should do. Now, I haven't quite figured out how to use this line. I know that it sets the balance, and currently I have a pretty poor elevation rate. So, if I make the turret, or if I make the shell longer, I can once again have elevation, but it's pretty poor. I can, however, up the torque, and now I have 1.42. And especially on this tank, I feel like a gun elevation rate is going to be important. Considering that I am trying to get this thing to go hull down. The maximum depression is now 7 degrees. So something like that. That would still make it... Well, it's alright. It's alright. I would like more. I would like quite a bit more. If I make it longer, that's going to not impact depression. Yeah, there it is. The shell is causing the depression to take take a hit, if you will. Okay. Make it a larger caliber. No. Let's give it a 76. Um, make the shell a little longer. One point thirty six degrees per second, damage nine thirty, penetration eighty two millimeters. That should be sufficient. That should be sufficient. When it comes to my mobility, I'm still above ten. That's something I'm sort of sticking to. The problem, however, is I am once again running a tank that is too heavy. Maximum RPM two thousand, so let's set the R target RPM to well. 2,000, or sli slightly less, otherwise the engine might blow itself apart. Okay. Um, when it comes to the tracks, considering we are traversing dunes, I might want to have the sprocket, which in this tank is in the front, to be a little higher. There. We have a substantial amount of road wheels. I could make the road wheels slightly larger. How would that impact my ability to peek over dunes? Probably should be okay. And I could just pull the whole hull up a little more to give myself some more room here. And that also allows me to change the front glassy a little more, which I will need if I want to make sure that I don't immediately start taking big chunks of damage. Okay, uh, this front strip needs work. Because that front strip could be at grave risk. Considering that it's going to be the part that's sticking out, sort of. When it comes to the turret, I would like some armor on the... Uh, where is it? On the gun itself. The gun mount. The mantlet over there. That thing is going to probably take quite a few hits. So let's put that at 140 millimeters of armor. Yeah, there we go. And especially if I'm peeking over like that. I can get about 160 out of that. That should be sufficient. Now, I have both a turret that's too small and a hull that's too small. So, time to make the hull a little bigger. Um, 
How can I best do that? That's the turret. I want to work on the hull first. That's the armor. See, adjust, adjusting the glassy is only going to cost me room. So I just need to work on the vehicles. Let's see. Height. There. This is in the green. Then the turret. Um, the turret is in the middle of the tank, believe it or not. If I move it forward, is that going to help with gun depression or not? Gun depression is still 745. But if I make the turret longer... Still 745, so it doesn't actually impact it at all, interestingly. In that case, I'm going to reduce that front because it looks pretty weird. Instead, we're going to add some stuff to the back. Or the middle. Let's see. If I make the middle a bit wider. And then make it a bit longer. I should be able to squeeze in more personnel. Of course, by doing this, I'm also once again taking up more room inside of the main turret. Or, sorry, the main hull. The turret a bit more room there, but still not enough. There. Now they can fit. And now we're going to have to once again go back here. Green. Okay. When it comes to the livery... Excuse me. Livery. Not livery. Uh, when it comes to the livery, I think we're going to need some desert camo. Eh. This is all right. Now, there's still some other things that we need. We need a viewport for the driver. The driver's going to be sitting in the front, looking directly at the dunes. We're going to need a gunnery viewport. Over there on the side of the turret. And I also want to have a commander's cupola. Now, I can make this thing a bit smaller. Hold shift and scroll, as you guys have taught me. There. So there's the commander. Now on the back here, we're going to have some um, engineering ports. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, mobility. And a couple of vents on here. And I want those in mirror mode. There, that's where the engine sits. And we can have a couple of vents on here too. Like that. When it comes to additional armor, um, tricky, tricky, tricky. Hold on, if I put these over here, so if I mount them at an angle there, not like that, but um, I'm going to try and have a fuel tank on the back. I think we're going to need different vents. there. And then f where was that? Was that crew? Utilities? These are just some additional plates that don't really do anything. We're going to need some equipment to get this thing unstuck. Especially in the desert. We're going to have an antenna on the commander's or on the, the turret. Like that. It does seem to be sticking out a touch. There. Viewports are fine. We can have this thing around the cupola as well. Oh, hold on. I'm going to put you over there. I'm going to pull the antenna back to here. When it comes to stowages, what I'm looking for is fuel tanks. That's probably under mobility. Fuel, external fuel tanks. I do want those in mirror mode. There. Immediately, some nice camos being applied. That's good. I like that. Um, let's see, what else would I need? That's more fuel. And I have a capacity of 800 internal. Which means that this thing... How far is it going to be able to go? 100 kilometers. 
and then it consumes 312. So I could go for quite a while. I could go uh, for 800 liters. I could go for 250 kilometers, which I think for a tank in the interwar is not bad. Not bad. Is this thing mounted correctly, or should this be the other way around? Let's make it a bit smaller. There. Or is it now? No, it's now sticking into the commander's viewports. It's probably not ideal. There. Okay, what else would I want on this thing? I can have some decals. Mm, a couple stars. I'm still not quite sure about this, because I can click one of them, and then it... Oh, select it, right, right mouse button, there we go. Place a decal, select it. Select it, right mouse button, and then select an image below. So click, select, star, there we go. That's more like it. I would like that star to be on both sides. And to be a bit smaller. I set on both sides. There we go. That's more like it. Anything else that I would need on the front? Maybe a hatch or so? So that the, the crew can get in or out? Especially the driver would probably appreciate something like that. there and the rest of the crew well they can go in through the command's cupola i'm not sure how the rest are going to get in or out but that's more their concern than mine okay uh this is the mark 36 uh this is the the dust rat the dust rat let's see if the mark 36 dust rat has the firepower to deal with the threats at hand I have a friendly over there. And that's the only one I get. Anybody see the enemy? Contact? Yeah, far. I need more gun depression. This is exactly what I did not want. Now my whole tank is sticking out over this dune. Making it pretty vulnerable. There's another one. Hell of a range. Come on, bring that gun up. Oh, there's more than one. Visibility's terrible here. Missed. Shot high. Whoa, there's a lot of them. Okay, we're going to need to work on that gun depression, because this is not acceptable. Firepower. Gun mount. Maximum gun depression, 13 degrees. Are you sure? It didn't look like it was 13 degrees. It didn't look like that at all. If I make the shell smaller, I can get my gun depression to be substantially higher, but my elevation rate is going to be the problem. So to do that, I might need to make the... What was it? Need the barrel shorter? Penetration is only 68 millimeters, though. But my gun depression is 17 degrees now. 18. Can I get 20? 20 would be great. There. I hope that the pen is going to be good enough. I reload in slightly over 3.5 seconds. Override the dust rat. There's my ally. Follow me. If you hold T, you can give these commands. Considering the vast range at which we start, I don't think I need to go too aggressive. Follow me, not ram me.
Now, I armored up the front quite nicely, but not the sides. There they are. Too high. Ooh. Yeah, they're trying to approach, so they're going to be bobbing up and down on these dunes. I'm not. Uh, I don't know. Move two. There. This guy takes fire support very, very seriously. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Move! Good lord. Dust rat. Target. Oi! I think I'm better off not giving my ally orders. Because they're just going to get in the way at this rate. Let's see if I can finally hit these guys before they hit me. The gun depression does seem to be working quite well. There it is. Might. Ah, damn it. They already got me. How, though? Because I did have my vehicle pretty safe, I thought. Jeez, there's a lot of you. Oh, dear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tanks that I've seen so far. Come on. I'm exposing way too much of this tank. Defeat. Okay. Um, can I increase mobility a little bit? I can make it an eight-cylinder engine. Still 11 and a half, so it doesn't matter that much. Hmm. Move to there. Hello? Oh, there you are. One thing I would like to see in this particular game is where I took a hit in the same way that War Thunder does it, for example. That's one down. Because War Thunder has these beautiful animations that tell you exactly where you were hit and what got damaged. And that way you can then start to adjust the design of your tank. At least in this game you can. Is that the one that I killed? Where the hell's my ally going? You are very much alive, aren't you? Got him. Gun loaded. Oi! Got him. Plenty more where that came from. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's very, very close. Get that gun up. Oh dear. No, 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 no. Come on, get the gun up. Oh shit, now they're over there. No, well, they do pop very quickly, thankfully. Oh no! That was close. That was close. Um, firepower. When it comes to the shells, I have been firing APHE, not AP. And APHE seems to be doing better for this particular gun. What I did not quite like was the amount of turret rotation that I had, which was fairly slow, it felt like. Uh... 
Base, turret. Let's give it a bit more motor torque so I can get that gun to turn around faster. 40 degrees per second. And unfortunately I cannot do much more for the turret elevation. That's still going to be pretty low. Unless I change the shell type again. Elevation rate. Whoa, 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 whoa. There, it tops out at 1.8. All I need to do now is get rid of some stuff over in probably the lower hull. There. We're just going to be firing APHE with this particular tank. Save. Overwrite. Yes. How much firepower do I have? 72 pen, 700 damage. That is much, much more comfortable to get this thing to go around. Oh, there's one more thing I wanted to change. It's my gun sight. My gun sight's actually too low. There, that's better. Now I can do a little bit more peeking over these dunes. Where are you guys? There's my ally. I don't expect too much from my ally because I don't think that they really know how to use gun depression. There. Missed. Speeding up and slowing down, especially switching from forward to reverse, is not something that this tank does very well. Okay, my ally took out one. Excellent. Well done. I'll see if I can take out this one for you. Or that one. Missed. At least the turret armor seems to be holding up for now. Nice work. That one's mine. Pull back behind the dune. Bounced off. Then again, I did hit him right in the turret, so... To be expected. Lower hull. Cooked! So far, the dust rats are winning. There's another one behind you. Move, 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 move! Missed! Contact right. Oh, he's looking at my side armor. Not sure if target is down. Oh, beautiful. He just cooked off another one. I'm going to assume this one's still alive. Oh, jeez, you're close. Get back. Get back. I've had it then. Come on, get that gun up. Up! Ooh, thank you, sir. Ally took him out. There's another one seemingly pretty far away. That guy's still alive. Too low. Aim higher. Bounced off. I'm just slipping down this dune here. My ally did a lot more work than I did this time around. But I kind of take that as a compliment, because if the AI can use my tank quite well, then I think the design has succeeded. Come on, where is he? There he is. Another bounce? Oh dear. Yes! But we're not done yet. We are not done yet. Where's the last guy? There? There's something over there. Where? Where'd he go? No visual.
Ooh, my RPM is not liking this. Probably going downhill is a problem. Come to think of it, I never adjusted my RPM. Is that guy even alive? He's not moving. Seemingly. I stand corrected. He is definitely moving. Okay, we need to hunt him down then. So difficult to see here. Quite the effective design. Maybe not the prettiest. Turret circle. <laughs> Turret rotation down too fast. Not the prettiest, but it seems to work. Is that guy stuck? Oh, hold on. There's two of you. Yeah, he's definitely alive. Missed. Didn't give him enough uh, gun elevation. That one's down. I'm not sure about this guy. Assume alive. Ooh. That one hit me in the ammo rack, I think. Oh, no! No, 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 no! Well, I tracked him. Sort of. He just doesn't know it yet. Come on. Gotcha. And that's still not the last tank. How many are there? Is that guy still alive? That one out there on the hill. Because this way I'm not seeing anybody else. Guess we'll just have to go and ask. See if he's still alive or not. Also, I haven't heard from my ally in a very long time. I'm not sure if they're still moving around. Hold on, was that guy moving? That one over there. Bring the gun up. No, he's not moving. No. Not a threat. Sometimes it seems in the current version of the game that if you have... Um, if you look at a tank, it suddenly wakes up. Come on. Hold on, I thought we had 800 liters of fuel aboard. We have 877. Dead. He already was. So where is the last tank, or several tanks? There's another dust rat. That's my ally. Is there an AI tank that is stuck behind one of these sand dunes, perhaps? Because if these tanks would be alive, my ally would have shot them. So it's not these. Eight kilometers up this hill. Unless my ally is dead. But I didn't see the notification. His tracks are still moving. He's not dead. What a massacre here. Hello. 
Yep, that was a live one. Okay. Assume position behind a dune. Come on. Now you want to pop over. Bounce. Oh, too low. I thought I could hit him in the lower glacier, but the shell went all over the place. Immobilized. Come on. This is when that turret rotation speed is going to come in very, very useful. Got him. Oh, with the last shot. Got him. That's the dust rat. It works. Mission complete. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what sort of weird designs you came up with. And if you want to have your vehicle take part in um, my next video on vehicle designs, then be sure to submit it. Get your file. You can find it in My Games, Sprocket. And just keep going down the folder list until you find blueprints. And send it into stealth at stealth17gaming.com. Looking forward to seeing what you created. Let me know. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you soon for more videos.